Morning Prayer on Wednesday the 13th of January. The Lesser Festival of Hilary, Bishop of Poitiers, Kentigan, sorry, the Commemoration of Kentigan, and the Commemoration of George Fox. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, King of the nations. To you be praise and glory forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your Spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. We be joyful in the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious. His steadfast love is everlasting. And his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 19 The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. One day pours out its song to another, and one night unfolds knowledge to another. They have neither speech nor language, and their voices are not heard. Yet their sound has gone out into all, the, all lands, and their works to the ends of the world. In them he has set a tabernacle for the sun, that comes forth as a bridegroom out of his chamber, and rejoices as a champion to run his course. It goes forth from the ends of the heavens, and runs to the very end again, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, and give wisdom to, to the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right and rejoice the heart. The commandments of the Lord, commandment of the Lord is pure and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, dripping from the honeycomb. By them also is your servant taught, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often they offend? O oh, cleanse me from my secret faults. Keep your servant also from presumptuous sins, lest they get dominion over me. So I shall be undefiled and innocent of great offence. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The reading from the first letter to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, I did not come pro proclaiming the mystery of God to you in lofty words or wisdom, for I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I came to you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. My speech and my proclamation were not with plausible words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of the spirit and power, 
so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. Yet among the mature do we speak wisdom, though it is not a wisdom of this age, or of the rulers of this age, who are doomed to perish. But we speak God's wisdom, secret and hidden, which God decreed before the ages of our glory. None of the rulers of this age understood this, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But, at it is written, written, what no eye has seen, nor or hear, ear heard, nor the human heart conceived, what God has prepared for those who love him. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything, even in the depths of God. For what human being knows what is truly human, except the human spirit that is within? So also no one comprehends what is truly God's, except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit that is from God, so that we may understand the gifts bestowed upon us by God. And we speak of these things, in words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual things to those who are spiritual. Those who are unspiritual do not receive the gift of God's Spirit, for they are foolishness to them, and they are unable to understand them, because they are discerned spiritually. Those who are spiritual discern all things, and they are themselves subject to no one else's scrutiny. For who has known the mind of the Lord, as so to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is King. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations, and his wonders among all peoples. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we give you thanks for this new day, for all that we do today, the people we shall meet, the conversations we shall have, and the thoughts that pass through our minds. Be with us in all that we do, so that we may make known your Son, Jesus Christ, to those who are yet to hear the good news. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in the world today. 
We pray for all nations and areas where there, are, where there is conflict, where there is oppression, where there is hatred. May all people know the cry of the angels as they came to proclaim your birth. Peace on earth and goodwill to all men. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our church, here and throughout the world. May all members of your church discern through the Spirit what they should be and what they should do. May they come before you in penitence and faith assured of the forgiveness of their sins. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for all of those who have been diagnosed with COVID at this time. And we pray for all of those where their treatment for other diseases may not be happening because of the strains and stresses on the NHS. We pray for all of those who are sick in body, mind or spirit. Send your healing love upon them, that they may know the glory of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Everlasting God, whose servant Hilary steadfastly confessed your Son, Jesus Christ, to be both human and divine, Grant us his gentle courtesy to bring all to all the message of redemption in the incarnate Christ, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, Give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.